Welcome to State of Tech. We're going to take a look at TweetBot 3 and TweetBot version 2 here on our iPhones. Now what we're going to do is we're going to compare these apps so you can see if the actual TweetBot 3 update is worth the price. So opening both applications is going to log us here into our timeline where we can scroll up and view all of our most recent tweets. And you see here on the iPod right here we have the streaming version on 2.0. And if we call them all the way up to the top on version 3, we can also enable streaming or just view our regular timeline. Now they both look the same. We have our same tabs down here in the bottom where we can go to app mentions, our mail, and then these last two tabs are customizable. And if we tap and hold on one, you see that we can actually customize the tabs over here in the bottom right hand corners. So they're, they're going to be basically the same updates where the, the same basic functions where we can tweet. If we tap in the top right hand corner, we can compose our tweets. And you see if I tap on here, it's the same thing. We can do locations. Go ahead and come out here and we have all of our basic functions where we can add cameras, tags, uh, hashtags, and people. We can even tap here in our settings and add a location and view our drafts in this TweetBot version 2 over here. So they're going to be the same functions. We'll go ahead and close out of there. Tap on the top right hand corner, we can enable our account switching where right here on the iPod we've got a few different accounts we're signing to, but on the iPhone we've only got one. And if we tap on one, you see it's just going to switch us over into that account as well. And we can tap on our timeline up here at the top in version 2 and actually change from different timelines or lists. Now in version 3 that's going to be a little bit different. We're going to have to customize them in one of these tabs down here where we can view our lists and go that way. Now a difference in version 3 over version 2 is we have mute filters. Where if we tap in the corner, tap on mute filters, we can mute people, keywords, hashtags, or clients. What that's going to allow us to do is actually if we tap edit, hit the plus button, we can do a keyword or a client where we can hide hashtags, people, or anything like that from being seen in our area. So say we were watching The Walking Dead and we didn't want an episode to get spoiled. We can come in here and type in a keyword, Walking Dead, or even enter in a hashtag. So where we wouldn't be able to see that, it won't unfollow people. It just hides that from being seen in our timeline until we come in here and clear them out. Another clear advantage to TweetBot version 3 is going to be the complete redesign for iOS 7. You see it's a flatter design ver versus version 2 over on the right hand side and it's going to follow iOS 7's complete design theme and it's going to be updated and get consistent updates for version iOS 7. Now the settings, if we come into our settings of each one of these, they're going to be basically the same. So we'll come in here, you see we have our sounds, display, streaming, quote, and browser. Except there's no more triple tap in version 3 and the post and background is automatic instead of it being have to be selected here in version 2. Now our account settings are going to be the same if we come into an account. You see we can enable notifications and change all of our services such as URL shortening, image and video upload, and then sync and mobilizer. So the settings are basically going to be the same throughout this. Um, one another other thing for version 3 is that we actually have background app refresh. So if we were to go home on our home screen, we would still have tweets and it would put us back up to the top instead of version 2 where we would have to consistently keep opening it to get any new tweets here in our timeline. Now we also have you know here the same thing. We've got our media browser. So we can see all of the media in our timeline and scroll through it and view it that way. So they're basically the same app. They function in the same manners. Version 3 does have some iOS 7 specific fe features and functions. But if you're wanting to just search your timeline and view tweets and send out tweets, version 2 still works perfectly fine. The one thing to keep in mind though is version 2 is no longer available in the App Store. Uh, you're going to have to download it through your purchase tab if you've already got it. But if you don't already own TweetBot and you're looking for a new Twitter client, TweetBot version 3 is currently on sale in the App Store and is a great client for you to use if you're looking for iOS 7. But if you don't care about the update to iOS 7, if you're not looking to have the latest version, if you don't want to pay for the um, update to TweetBot version 3, version 2 still works perfectly fine in iOS 7. It just doesn't have the updated interface. It's not going to have background tweets or any of these mute filters or anything like that that's going to be specific to version 3. So that's, uh, that's the comparison between version 3 and version 2. 
Um, if you're looking to spend a little bit of extra money and get a better client, version 3 is going to be the way to go. But if you already have version 2 and you're not worried about the update again, like I said, it still works perfectly fine. We're just going to leave this up to you. And if you'd like to update, go ahead and pick this up in the App Store today.